This video will help you choose the correct lane on the approach to roundabouts. Choosing your lane early will maximise the time you have to judge traffic when you get to the roundabout. Start planning as soon as you see the sign. Although this is a single lane at the moment, most roads widen out to two lanes at the roundabout. Following the white centre line will draw you into the right hand lane, following the kerb will draw you into the left hand lane. Whichever lane you've approached in, make sure you stay in that lane around the roundabout until it's time to leave. So how do we decide which lane to choose? Normally, we stay left because we drive on the left. We only move out to the right if we're taking the last exit, we're turning right, or road markings tell us to. Let's have a look at an example. We want the second exit, it's not the last exit, we're not turning right, so we stay left. Then we look for any road markings that tell us we have to do anything any different. In this case there are none, so we position left, follow the kerb and stay left until we reach the second exit. Here's another example. We want the second exit. It's not the last exit. We're not turning right. So we're going to stay left unless we see road markings say otherwise. Even though there's only a single lane on the approach, it's important that we're positioned as far to the left as possible, following the kerb. This will draw us into the left-hand lane on the roundabout. If we hadn't done this, we'd end up in the middle of two lanes, or in the right-hand lane, which would be wrong. Again, we want the second exit, but this time it is the last exit, so we're going to keep right. We're going to follow the centre line of the road. If there are two lanes, this will draw us into the right-hand lane. This time, we want the third exit. It is the last exit, so we stay right, following the centre line of the road again, drawing us into the right-hand lane at the roundabout. Another example, we're going to follow the road ahead, second exit. It's not the last exit. We're not turning right, so we're planning to stay left. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. But there are road markings and they tell us we're not allowed to use the left lane, so we have to use the right hand lane. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. the roundabout and take the second exit. This time we're taking the third exit. Looking at the sign, it's not the last exit and we're not turning right, so we keep left unless road markings say otherwise. You might think this looks like a right turn, but it isn't. We're actually following the same road on both sides of the roundabout, so we're not leaving it, we're not turning off it. Really, it's just a bend in the road. Plan as early as possible with roundabouts. Take all the clues you can from road signs and road markings so you can get into position nice and early, giving you more time to deal with traffic when you get to the roundabout and giving people behind you more information about what you're planning to do.
do a sign for a roundabout, ask yourself, am I taking the last exit or am I leaving this road to join a new road on the right? If so, I need the right lane. Otherwise, I'm going to stay left unless I see road markings telling me differently. Now test your understanding. To take exit 2 on this roundabout, should we position left or right? Are there any road markings which might change your decision? How about this one? We want exit two. Is it the last exit? Are we turning right? Now the last one in real time. You won't have as long to think. We want to take the second exit at the roundabout. Are you going to position left or right? Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Check for road markings, which might alter your decision. These rules will cover 95% of two lane roundabouts, but there will always be odd exceptions due to local conditions. For multi-lane roundabouts with more than two lanes, there will always be lane markings to guide you into the correct lane. But as a general rule, match your lane number to your exit number. If you're going to go all the way around a roundabout, in other words, using it to perform a U-turn, then you always need to use the right lane. Hopefully that's obvious. Most importantly, keep everything safe. If you get in the wrong lane, or you can't get in the lane which you want, then follow the lane you're in. Go somewhere safely, rather than where you actually wanted to go. Thank you for watching Choosing Lanes at Roundabouts Part 1. In Part 2, I'm going to cover how we choose lanes for double roundabouts, and also how we can anticipate that there are going to be lane markings telling us that we need to do something different at particular roundabouts. The earlier we know we're going to need a different lane, the earlier we can position in it. If you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, you'll be notified as soon as part two is released. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.